I um, just want to bring you some breaking news now. We're hearing uh, that Trevor Francis, uh, the uh, former footballer, has died. Um, we're just uh, hearing this now. I'm just going to bring you um, some reaction to it. Trevor Francis, uh, many of you uh, will know, uh, former Nottingham Forest star and England star. Uh, we're hearing that he has died uh, at the age of 69 in his home in Marbella. Uh, Trevor Francis, England's first ever one million pound player. Um, when you think about the kind of money that uh, is involved in buying and selling players now, uh, you think back to that era and he was the first one million pound player. Uh, instrumental in helping Brian Clough's Forest, Nottingham Forest, win the European Cup in 1979. A famous goal, a world famous European Cup winning goal uh, in that final. Um, he, of course, went into management later on, managing both QPR and Sheffield Wednesday. Um, we're hearing that Trevor Francis died at his home near Barbea in Spain today. Um, unconfirmed uh, reports that he suffered a heart attack. Um, let's bring you a um, reaction from Gary Lineker, uh, who has taken to social media on hearing the news, saying, deeply saddened to hear that Trevor Francis has died, a wonderful footballer and a lovely man. It was a pleasure to work alongside him, both on the pitch and on the telly. R.I.P. Trevor. Uh, let's bring in now sports correspondent Rob Harris, um, who is in the newsroom for us now. Uh, and Rob, this is really sad news for for football fans and particularly uh, for those who as Gary Lineker said played alongside him on the pitch and, uh, and worked with him in punditry because he really was a nice bloke yeah Trevor Francis very familiar to so many not only as a player and a manager also as a pundit as well commentating on the game and someone who really was reflecting the rise of football in the country as well just um, more broadly and a really transformative figure someone who commanded the first million pound fee for a British player in 1979 when he joined Nottingham Forest and then making such an impact this is such a different era of the game he headed in the goal that gave nottingham forest european cup glory in 1979 and then they won the competition again the following year nottingham forest not a team that many would associate now with reaching not only, not even the pinnacle of english football but able to conquer europe and trevor francis really was at the heart of that one of the flourishing players and a player who really was the heart of brian clough's uh, successes with nottingham forest helping a provincial team team become the dominant force in European football and really sort of signifying uh, his role in that at the same time having a career with England playing at World Cups 52 appearances uh, for England 12 goals for his country as well and and, and there you see him in his role uh, working with the FA Cup and he actually won the League Cup as well for Sheffield Wednesday in his career because he was also there at the start of the the Premier League era as well in the early 90s before uh, going on to have a um, managerial career himself uh, with Queen's Park Rangers, with um, Sheffield Wednesday and becoming one of those figures that integral to the organisations like the League Managers Association too, helping the next generation of coaches. Although he's not actually been in management for 20 years. He was last uh, a manager at, at Crystal Palace after a stint there of a couple of years, having been at Birmingham City, a, a club that... Um, you know, many will associate him with having spent several years there after his stint at Sheffield Wednesday too. But not only playing and winning with Nottingham Forest, but having a career beyond England too. The fact going on to leave Manchester City, the club he joined from Nottingham Forest, to play in Italy with Sampdoria, um, Atalanta too, and then uh, in Rain for Rangers too in Scotland. So certainly a a notable figure but for many he will always be remembered as the the first million pound British player and the news coming in today from Spain that he has died at the age of 69.